Flotilla plan redesign number 27. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Start eight four. What is up the world? <laughs> what up, peeps? It's your friendly neighborhood. Flip Gator here. You know what? I think I might give up this YouTube game. Get into the rap game. Hey, guys. We're back doing some stuff and things here in Flotsam. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget, share your support. Smash that thumbs up button. If you're new and you have fun, consider subscribing for more. And yes, back with our amazing yacht, the SS Lip Gator here in Flotsam. And in the last episode, we kind of powered through from a situation where we were basically almost going to lose the playthrough to completely being ready to rock and roll. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I am unbelievable and amazing-ish. Uh, so here we are, a little bit of an update. Um, there's our map very quickly. Uh, we have our uh, solar stills now, eight of them making water. We have converted a massive amount of our food into sushi. We have 66 sushi. We still have 43 raw seaweed, but I don't think we have any nibble fish right now. And that's what we're gonna be looking to do on this episode, maybe getting some more self-sustaining food. We have four drifters and four seagulls on our uh, on our flots, or our flotilla, pardon me. Uh, and we just finished making a couple more walkways out towards the back here. So this episode, I think we're gonna focus a little bit on uh, getting some organization done. Uh, we're gonna work on getting some of our large storage yards kind of more betterly organized. Uh, and also, I need to get a lot more plastic because in the very end of the last episode, I said, I want to go ahead and see if I'm able to, we could put this right here, build this out over to here all the way. I want to build a, a walkway all the way out that way. And I want to also try to build a walkway. Let me see if we can do this here all the way out this way. And I want to see if uh, this guy right here, that seaweed grower is going to be in the way for that. All right, so let's go ahead and pop into the map really quick and take a look. We have uh, Uno Dos Trace Islands. And I can't remember how... Whoa, whoa, I can't remember how done we were. All right, so that guy, we have one guy on there salvaging 30 dry wood, 10 scrap, 5 food. All right, so that guy's GTG. And then over on this island here, we're done. And then there was a seaweed island back over this way, right? Where are you, seaweed island? done as well so we just have the one island over here to get finished why don't we in order to power through there dried wood we're doing good plastic we need a lot more of we have one boat on here right now and this guy's actually currently leaving i could cancel that up this to two hit salvage like so so that's gtg oh and i think i had said that we were going to go ahead and probably move our moorings um over to the edges of here so probably two moorings here and two moorings over here too so they're on the very outside edges of our walkway. Any building we do won't block any of those guys. So we're good to go with that. All right, so campfire wood. I think we can craft up uh, uh, maybe a bunch more of that. Hold on. I'm not even sure how many ropes do we have. Seven. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of campfire wood. So if we need any of that, we have it. Water seems to be holding strong at 20. Uh, we're going to see how that's going to work out here in the future. But next order of business, I guess let's also take a look here at this guy where's that plastic oh all the way out here so plastic we only have 30 we could definitely use more of it so i feel like what we should do let's go ahead and get a boat over here we'll set that like that we'll set it to enlarge also i'm going to go ahead and take one of our um seagull buoys we'll set two guts two yeah two seagulls on that set that to enlarge as well and then honestly over here we could probably cancel that uh whoop, cancel that set it for one guy like so. But we do want to get this salvaged up pretty quickly. Honestly, that's like the biggest deal. You know, we have four drifters. I could use another drifter. There was one in the area, he, uh, one that we passed up earlier in the game because they weren't very good. Dude, look, we're up to 21 water now. So yeah, a bunch of stuff and things going on. I wonder, let me see here, right inside of here right now. No, 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 no. That's what we're looking for. This guy right there, mooring. So can we put one? We could put one there. How many of these guys could we even build? Oh my God. Huge amounts of them, actually. So we could put four of these guys, one there, one here, like so, one here, and one here, like that. All right, so four moorings right there. Once those four are done, we can go ahead and remove these three. Um, yeah, and then it looks like that's used up a lot of our plastic, but we're going to gather some more up over from this area here. So let's let some stuff and things happen. Let's speed up time. 
All right, so I'm actually... There's a couple of different ways I think that you can handle this. One of them is wait till your boat is out and away and doing other things. Uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, deconstruct your mooring. And then when the boat comes back, it'll automatically go to the new mooring area. What I've chosen to do is go ahead. I have some resources. I'm just going to build up uh, one fishing boat, three salvage boats. Uh, or actually, I think two because I think there's one that's already out. We had one that we already moved because we removed one mooring over here. And then we're just going to deconstruct these guys and have this all go on. It's going to take a minute. I'm asking my four guys and my four seagulls to do a lot of stuff and things all at the same time here. There you can see our salvage boats coming back over there. Then what I think the plan's going to be is inside of here building large storage areas. And I think we might do them really close. Like right here. Very, very close to this area so that when the guys start doing stuff... They come over here, they unload their boats, they bring the air, the, the um, materials right over here to the storages. So it's not necessarily super far away from all the things that it needs to be near, you know what I mean? But it's not like super far away from these. It's kind of middle of the road in between the boats and where the materials need to go. So now this guy's done over here. We can go ahead and deconstruct that guy. I already have a deconstruct order up for this ship too, but it looks like there's like one dry wood on there so for some reason they're just taking their sweet old time doing that all right so remember we said we're low on nibble fish oh you guys we got 40 plastic now so we're low on nibble fish and how we're gonna go ahead and get some more of those i do believe right here is the fishing hut so i'm gonna unlock that fishing hut right there then if we pop in here into food food truck fishing hut requires four nets and i think those guys oh wait what no not made in there uh dude where are those nets made uh, wait a second here. That's screws and pipes. Dude, hold on. Where are those nets made? Plastic recycler? Probably. Unlock that bad ombre. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on with that. So under construction, where is it? There's our plastic recycler. This is a fairly big building. Uh, you know what would be amazing? If we put it right here. So here's what we're going to do. Is that all of our moorings done? This guy's still not deconstructed yet. What the crap is wrong with you guys? I wonder if it's like bugged out or something. Uh, are we done making firewood? We are. So our guys are kind of sitting around doing nothing. I'm not sure why it is they're not deconstructing this right here. Uh, hmm, that sucks. Dude, I need you guys to gather up that one last deal right there. It does look like almost like it's bugged out. What if we deconstruct that? Like, let's deconstruct the mooring too and see what goes on with that. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Now he's just moving it around. Wait, wait, no. Don't deconstruct it now. Cancel. Crap on a cracker. We might have too many boats. I'm not sure how this is going to work now. All right. Well, now he's deconstructing that guy. I built a bunch of other boats. I feel like we might have one too many boats. Dude, he moved it, but he won't deconstruct it. You know what? I know we have one too many boats. Look at this guy right there. What is... Dude, Sammy, get over here. Do this. Get this damn deal off of here. Deconstruct the stupid stuff. Thanks. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add, like I said, one of our large deals right here. Can I put another one right there? Nice. Two large storage areas here and here. Then I'm going to deconstruct this guy. That's going to allow us room to put in the plastic recycler. So that's what we're going to do. And then I guess we'll just hold tight on this and see what goes on with the wet floater. Not sure what's going on with that guy. All right, the large storage yard here is uh, completely deconstructed. No! Oh, man. You're kidding me, man. I can't fit that in there. That sucks so bad. I can't fit. <gasps> right there, I can. Ugh. It's not going to be, like, uniformed if we do that, though. That's, like, the perfect spot. I can't believe we can't fit it in there. That fishing boat must be just a little bit too large. You know what? For right now, I'm going to place it there. I know it's weird. I know it's wacky, but it is a spot. Uh, also, let's take a look and see over here in these large deals. Ten scrap two rope you know what build me two more of these i want another large storage yard right there and another large storage yard right there just so we're never gonna have to worry about storage down here you can see we have a lot of extra space um so we don't necessarily super you know what i mean we don't have a, a massive need for more storage but this is just future proofing the area a little bit so once we do that we can actually maybe start taking some of these small storage areas away as well uh so that's all going well food's doing good uh water's doing good we're up to 29 now so that's gtg all right this guy's good to go there's our nets now we said we wanted to go inside of here and go ahead and start crafting this guy up we're gonna need six rope and four nets so let's go ahead and get four nets crafting in, in that guy and let's go ahead over here and just craft all the rope that we can uh we're getting a little bit low on wood honestly uh it is bad news bears but we have harvested this island over here 
So this guy's good to go. We got the research points from that. Uh, let's take a look here again and see what's going on as far as research. We only have five points. All right, let's check our... Oh, we got a couple of things here. The boat has been abandoned and should be reclaimed. A boat has been abandoned and should be reclaimed. I have no idea what that means. There are not enough houses to accommodate all the drifters. Okay. Hmm. So a boat has been abandoned and should be reclaimed. I don't know what that means. Let's go ahead and slow down time. Can we see our boats on this map? We can't. I built enough boats so I could have deconstructed this one. But I, it, they wouldn't deconstruct this boat. So there might be an extra boat around here somewhere. I have no idea where it would even be. I think this guy's heading out to get our plastic. And then our seagulls are going that way too. We definitely have like a little bit of an issue with this boat. There's a problem with it. Something, something is going on. So I'm going to try to just deconstruct it. I keep trying to deconstruct it. They won't do it. I'm going to set it for deconstruct yet again. Storage, not a problem now. Super massive amounts. Uh, let's deconstruct these two yards. We don't need them. And I think I can put some more wood dryers over there. But we're going to need to move. So let's take a look at our map and see what we got going on here. A lot of plastic over here. Two more islands that we haven't discovered. A uh, little bit of fish. Let's go, team. Speeding up time. Deconstructions are happening. Constructions are happening. Uh, this guy's GTG. What we got to figure out now? Uh, let's look at the. Let's look at these walkways. Let's slow things down a little bit. Remember, we were gonna try to do these walkways out here. Let's take a look as far up as we can go here. Can we build this out all the way? Let's build that walkway right there. Then let's go ahead and spin around here. Uh, moment of truth. Oh, that's weird. I feel like there's an issue over here now. No, it won't do it. So it will go by this guy. Remember, we were wondering if it would go by the seaweed grower. But now this guy's in my way. Dude, there's a lot of weird stuff and things going on here. All right, our boat still hasn't been deconstructed. No idea what's going on with that guy. But we still have two. We have two and then the fishing boat over here. So uh, in our area now, wood is what we are low on. Let's go ahead and grab our boat and set it over here. Let's uh, enlarge that circle. Let's go ahead and get our seagulls. Let's set two of them over there and enlarge that and just gather up a bunch of wood. Now, we do have a couple of cool islands over here. There's a seagull all the way up here, kind of in front of us and towards starboard. Dude, where is that? Where is that seagull? There it is right there. So we can... Re two of them! We can rescue that guy. All right. So it was telling us that there aren't enough beds for all of our dudes. I'm wondering if that means that we need beds for seagulls. I'm not exactly sure. So let's pop inside of here real quick and take a look at a couple more dryers. Can we face these in here like this? No. Why don't we put smaller ones? One right there and one right here. Just a couple more wood dryers so we can get stuff and things going. So we'll place those guys over there like so. Storage is doing good. Uh, this guy inside of here. Now we are able to build our fishing hut. So I'm not sure exactly where I want that to go. Uh, we could place them back over inside of here. Uh, I kind of want to move some stuff and things around over here to get this a little bit, I don't know, more uniformed. We could move these guys out. There's so many things that we could do. I'm feeling like what I want to do... I kind of want to get our solar stills moved. So one of them is over here and one of them is over here. That means I got to move this guy. I got to move. I got to move so many things. Let me do a little reorganization. Our solar stills are being moved to their new positions. And this is the way I decided to do our walkways. Something on this side of this solar still was stopping me from building a walkway straight out. So I just decided to make a little bit of an angle deal. It's a little bit weird, but it is what it is. And uh, moved our solar stills over here. Now, I deconstructed our seaweed grower and our food truck. And when I did that... I also started building more houses because it looks like the seagulls do need them. Uh, and when I started doing that, I used all the scrap up. So we got a major disaster. Well, not a major disaster, but we got a problem. We need more scraps before we can build some of the other seven things back up again. Uh, namely the food truck. That's the big thing we need to get going. Wait, do we have enough now? Food truck. Nail the Ace the Cape. Stop. Place the guy right here. Right there. All right. We're going to place our food truck right there. Now we have to do our fishing hut as well. 
Hmm, our fishing hut could go there. Uh, we also need to rebuild our seaweed grower too. So this is our fishing hut. I'm gonna place this guy maybe right... I'm wondering if I can do two right next to each other. That would be pretty rad. Uh, let's place this guy here. Let me see about another one. We would need more rope and more nets. So we can construct four more nets. We need plastic. We got that. It's no problem. Uh, rope we're running a little bit low on. Let's make four of those. What does it take? Dried wood. We have 81. We'll make four more ropes too. All right. So those guys are going good. Storage is looking great. We got plenty. Uh, and I'm kind of feeling like over here, maybe we deconstruct one of these storage areas uh, and then move one of our houses from here to here. So I'm going to go ahead and set these guys both to deconstruct. We're up to 40... Uh, yeah, 40 water now, which I think is the max. That's all we can carry. So if we wanted to get more water, what we need to do is unlock these guys over here. Small water container or large water container. We also have this desalinator, which we can unlock. Uh, and we're going to use that. Most likely setting that up somewhere instead of our distiller. We're not going to need that guy anymore either. All right. So over here now, this takes seaweed in order to get nibble fish, which is also something that we use in order to make... Dude, where are we? I can't click on it. Oh, not that guy right here. We also use that in order to make this. So we have to make sure we have a balance between seaweed and nibble fish. Let me go ahead inside of here and queue up as many nibble fish as we can get. One seaweed's going to equal five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that'll be 35 nibble fish. And then we'll have a lot more ability to make more sushi. Dude, look at that thing go, man. So that's very cool. Just goes down, bring it back up. There's no fish in there. Dude, you got a fish better. What were you even... I didn't even get any fish. Looks like he's going to try a couple of times. Eventually, he'll, he'll, get, he'll get some fish up in there. So, water's doing great. Food is on the... Is falling fast. Uh, you know what we got to do is over in this area here, we need to get our seaweed grower back in action. Why don't we place it kind of over here like this? We'll place the seaweed grower over, over there. And then let's go ahead and pop over here again and see. Do we have enough stuff and things? Let's put our house inside of here like that. So that's plenty of houses for all the things. Storage looks good. This boat's still not being deconstructed. What I'm thinking about trying to do is wait until all the boats are in. Yeah, that island's good. Everything's good. Maybe now? What happens if we were to deconstruct this now? We'll see what goes on with that. I'm going to try to deconstruct this mooring and then see what happens to this boat. I just need this boat to go away. Uh, it almost feels like we need like a creative mode or something so we could take care of that. It's definitely bugged out. So water's doing good. Food's doing good. Can I get it? I don't mean, I don't think I need two of these. I was thinking maybe two, but I don't think we'll need that. I don't think it's going to be a concern. Um, maybe we could just because it'll be, it would be like super uniform to have a second one right there. It would look good, right? Just do it for looks. <laughs> just cause it'll look good. We're going to put two fishing deals over there. Uh, and it would make it so that we can get fish a lot faster. It does take a little bit of time for us to get these guys going. Uh, over here in our food truck now, we're going to make sure we have sushi queued up. We'll make a bunch more. Oh, we just had a little bit more we can make too. Oh, there we go. We'll go with those guys right there like so. All right. So what are we out of? Scrap is what we need now. And we can gather that up. Uh, one, two, three islands taken care of. I think plastic and those things are looking good. To get scrap... Mayhaps we go over here. This would give us scrap from this area right here, this viaduct. And then also a little bit of fish, wood, plastic, and seaweed. It looks like finally... Stop. Cancel. We finally deconstructed that weird boat. And I did it by deconstructing the mooring. So let's go ahead and get another scrap boat over in this area here. Like so and like so. We'll craft that guy up right there. All right. So we're in our new location now. Viaduct is way over here, I think. Dude, where are you, viaduct? Oh, no, it's not way over there. Where are we? Okay, the viaduct is behind us. All right, so over in this area here, and I'm interested to see. I can't remember how much scrap we can get from this guy. 40! All right, let's go ahead and set one boat on that for salvage. Something's beeping. Did you hear that? Dude, was that on the island? Was there an alarm going off? Dude, it's a car alarm. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and look for that other island. There was one way over on the edge here. Over this way? Am I am I correct? Dude, where was that guy? 
so hard to find these. Dude, I was in the right area. What are you talking about? All right, here it is. What do we got over here? Fuel. All right, we'll set one boat on that guy as well. And then we have another island. Uh, forward and port. I think we were at it, but yeah, like so. We'll set one boat over there as well. So, uh, we're going to be starting to make more food now. Our fishing stuff and things are going good. No, not you. Uh, so, what we can actually do is just cancel that maybe and then get... Oh, it takes more than one guy if we do it that way. Mm, yeah, probably not the best idea. Well, it looks cool. Uh, so, that's good to go over there. Now, sushi. Let's go ahead and make as much sushi as we can uh, to get all those guys going. How do we have 43 water? That's weird. So our liquid storage capacity is set as high as it goes, but we have 43, 42 water now. I don't know how we got it over. I didn't think that it stored it inside, inside the large storage yards. I didn't think that was the thing. Um, all right, so those guys are good. Our moorings are good. Everything's looking really, really good. I think there was some fish here too. We can pop over here and go ahead and set that guy over there to do some fishing. So we're good on that. Plastic's looking good. We can use a little bit more wood. Looks like we have some up over in this area. Which one's the closest? Probably this guy here. So I know I don't have as many boats as I'm queuing up to do all these jobs, but that's okay. Eventually, they'll get to, to all the things. Uh, so we'll be good on all of those guys. I could tear down these two deals right here. We could tear down the distiller as well. Now, I do believe the bigger guy, the desalinator, I can't see it right now because we need some pipes. Uh, and more scrap as well. But I do believe that it's really large. Like, quite large, in fact. Um, I guess what we'll do inside of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What does that take? Scrap? Ugh, dude, we don't have enough. But I want to try to get to it. So I want to try to get this guy built. We need eight pipes to do it. So we're going to start getting that guy going over there. You know what we might be able to do? Let's deconstruct this guy. We don't need that anymore. I'm also feeling like we could deconstruct these two small storage yards, too. Just get everything going in these four. That should be plenty. If we need more storage, we can always build more. Well, once we get some more scrap. Scrap's really what we're running low on, man. I'm going to go ahead and make four rope as well. It feels really amazing to not necessarily have to be concerned that we're going to die at, at, at every moment. Um, it looks like we have housing now for 12 people. and We only have 10, so we're good to go with that stuff. We don't need any more houses for the moment. Um, all right, so some of things are going good. I'm just going to let our guys start gathering some stuff up and fi finish up some of these islands. Uh, and yeah, we're not going to die right now. It's amazing. Flotilla plan redesign number 27. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Start eight four. Uh, what I'm planning to do now is build... Oh, you know what I should have done? I want to add two more large storage yards, but I put this one back over here and I couldn't fit one back over here. What I'm actually going to do is deconstruct this one. I just changed my plan, like, right now. I'm going to deconstruct that one. I'm going to put a large storage yard here. I'm going to put another large storage yard here. Like so. Now, the next thing I want to do is deconstruct these two wood dryers. And I want to put two more wood dryers over here. So that means that I'm going to have to remove the scrap smith. Uh, and the plastic recycler. Uh, we'll put them right against the wall over in this area there. Then what I want to do is add kind of some of these buildings back just in a little more uniformed way. Um, the only thing that kind of really screws up my symmetry here is the fishing hut is just a very, very odd shape. It's just the only building that kind of fits long wise. It's kind of like a, a one by two. So it's the only one that kind of is in a really weird spot. And I can't, I can't make everything super uniformed if we do that. Um, so it is what it is. We're going to have to figure out how that's going to go. But I think putting two more of the drying racks over on this side, it's going to look really, really cool. We also have unlocked the water container, these large guys here. So if we pop inside of here underwater, please tell me. No! Oh, this is going to be the perfect spot. Man, oh man, I was hoping, I really hoping I could fit them inside of there. It would be so cool. I could fit one here and one here. We could put them there. We could put them on the outside, down over in this area as well. What do they take to, in order to make? Ooh, a lot of pipes. Plastic, dried wood, which we have a good amount of, and then a lot of pipes as well. 
So that's kind of the plan that I want to go ahead and start to try to figure out how we're going to do. I think we're going to move the oil refinery and the woodworking shed as well. We are very, very low on scrap. We only have 16. Uh, we get all of our materials back from deconstructing. Dude, is that viaduct like gone? Dude, where are you, the viaduct? We're done. All right, so we're done with that viaduct. We don't have any more scrap over inside of there. We, we got that guy. They're gathering up the seaweed-covered islands. Let me see here. Uh, there's another seagull over there we could go and grab. I don't see any more uh, abandoned motorboats. There might be some scrap on that island, too. So we could grab this guy, make sure we have some materials, squirt over here, grab, this, that, the, grab that seagull, maybe. I don't even know if we need it. I really need drifters more than I need seagulls right now. But you see the plan. You see what I got going on here. Uh, I'm feeling like... This guy might need to move over here by the seaweed. I'm thinking once we build these two drying racks, maybe we put, yeah, our woodworking shelter here, woodworking shed, our, our oil refinery on that side. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff. You just wait. I'm just thinking out loud at this point. It's gonna, I'm going to make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I uh, have done it. I feel like this is my flotilla my area all of the things exactly in line uh, ish uh, to the point where i just really like the way that i've got it set up so all of our moorings down over here all of our storage right inside of here we have our four large dryers i put uh, our plastic recycler and our food truck on the right side or the starboard side over there uh, i put our scrap smith oil refinery and woodworking shed on the port side our port berths or houses uh, all of our solar stills, I added in two of these guys. We have the water containers, and now we're up to 79. Each one of these can hold 30. So that's 100 total water now we can store because we have two of those guys. We have one over here as well. Uh, I did go ahead and build a second seaweed grower. Uh, we have just the one fishing hut over here, and then check it out in storage right there. Only two nibble fish, but 45 raw seaweed and 12 firewood ready to rock and roll as well. We can go ahead and add a bunch more fish to be crafted up inside of that guy. Uh, and I moved to a new area. So I went ahead and used the move to new region. We had a leaky water tower here, a shack town, and a long island over in that area. A little bit of fish got gathered up. And uh, yeah, you guys ready for this? Bam. He's done it. I have unlocked all the things. And that is flotsam. That's the entire game. Uh, that's all the things that you can do right now, except move forward and really try to see if you could maximize your flotilla, like maximize the size of it. Um, as you would go around in the area, you would find more drifters. As you gathered more drifters, you'd need more houses. You'd need to maximize your space a little bit better since you only have a limited amount. Um, but I'm very excited to see where this goes. But that's going to be it for today, guys. That's the end of the Flotsam playthrough for right now. As the game gets updated, we'll come back and do more stuff and things for sure. I'm very excited to see where this goes. And I'm very excited about our area. Look how cool it looks, man. I wish I could get a good screenshot of this that didn't have all these little deals in it. But I don't think there's a way to shut those guys off. But look at it, man. It came out great. Now, as I was saying, if you were to play this a little bit further uh, further along, you might not be able to use your solar stills. They take up a lot of space. Uh, you'd probably have to get into uh, your desalinators, and that's going to take a little bit more firewood. There's different ways that you could take it, but like I said, for right now, this is as far as we really kind of can go uh, as far as the progression of the game. And so that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video you saw today, please don't forget. Show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.